Harris coming to you again from Upper Main Line YMCA with another science experiment that you can do at home with ingredients that you probably already have. So what you're going to need is a small clear cup, one that you want to be able to see the sides of. You want to fill that most of the way up with water, three quarters of the way up most likely. You also want to get yourself prepared with a couple different containers of water colored with food coloring. So I've got blue, green, and yellow. You can do any colors you want. You can mix colors. You can have five, six, seven colors. You can do whatever you want to with this. I just have these three to show what the experiment is. From there, you're going to need to take some shaving cream. You want to make sure to shake it up. Maybe do a test spray in the sink to make sure that it's going to come out foamy and not liquidy because if it comes out as a liquid, it's really going to not do well with this experiment. You want it to be a nice foamy situation. So you're going to spray your foam on the top, your shaving cream. And you kind of want to make this look a little bit like a cloud. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Nature's not perfect. There you have it, there's our cloud. This experiment is called rain cloud in a jar. So here's our cloud. The water down here is kind of like our atmosphere. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to drop some of this colored water on top of our cloud. So I have a little pipette. I'm just gonna take it and you're going to drip the color all over the top of it. We're gonna do that with all of our colors too. So every color we're just gonna drip on top. And it's okay if the colors mix together. And eventually what's gonna to start to happen is our colors, you can see them, I can see them on this side a little bit. I'll turn it this way so you can see a little bit too. The colors are starting to drain through our cloud. Now what you can also do if you don't have a pipette is you can just take your food coloring just like this and drop it on like this. What that's gonna do is it is going to make it a lot more, you can see the green already coming through, right? The color is gonna be a little bit more vivid, more vibrant. So you can kind of do a combination of both. But essentially what you're seeing is the food coloring bleeding through the cloud and going into the water down here. So it kind of looks like it's raining colors. You can continue adding more colors to the top because not only is your water gonna keep changing colors, but your cloud is gonna keep changing colors to the more different colors you add to the top of it. If you don't wanna just drop food coloring on and you don't have a pipette, it's easy enough to pour a little bit on. You don't wanna pour a lot on. So if you've got a younger kid, maybe get a spoon. Spoon it over top. There's a lot of different ways you can do that without having something like a pipette to drop it on with. So you can see all of the colors are bleeding through. It's kind of raining different colors. If you have a lot of different colors that you put on, you're gonna see them all mixed together. You can talk about color mixing and that kind of theory. Um, but overall, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's going to look really cool if you add a bunch of different colors to it. If you have any questions, leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. And otherwise, check out the description for more information about the science experiment. And remember, stay curious.